y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. I asked you, you said you wanted to see recipes with canned biscuit dough. Let's do it. I almost hesitated to do this video because I have had the hardest time finding canned biscuit dough, at least at my local grocery store. I found three and I'm gonna have to go to another grocery store to find the fourth because I'm doing four recipes. So crossing my fingers that I can find it. I'm hoping it's just an issue for me here locally and that you can get your hands on this. Of course, any of these recipes, you can make your own biscuit dough and just do it that way. Or you could buy frozen biscuits and thaw those out. There's, there's ways around it, but let's get started with our first one. I am so stoked for this. I have never seen this one before and I think it's gonna be so delicious. Little, little disclaimer. My husband, Steven, if you're new here, he does not like dinner recipes with cream cheese in it. He likes dips and things like that with cream cheese in it, but not dinner recipes. This particular recipe has chive and onion cream cheese in it. He's not here right now, but he'll be here to taste test it in a little bit. I'm not gonna tell him there's cream cheese. Now it's, it's flavored cream cheese, so I'm really hoping that that does the trick but this is a test. <laughs> this is only a test. We're gonna see what he thinks. I think it's gonna be yummy. This recipe came from Pillsbury's website. This is Chicken Cordon Bleu Bubble Up Bake. The first thing we need to do is turn our oven to 350. So I'm gonna let that preheat. The second thing I need to do is shred this block of Swiss cheese. You could definitely just buy this pre-shredded. Now the recipe says to cut each of these biscuits into six pieces. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm not gonna tell y'all how long it took me to figure out how to slice those so that it would be six. Everything in my head was like, okay, two and then four and then eight. I could not figure it out. Moving on. Next, you need a large microwavable bowl. I'm hoping this is large enough. I think it is. In here, we're gonna add eight ounces of the chive and onion cream cheese spread and half of our Swiss cheese, so about a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that around now, but we're gonna put it in the microwave and start to melt it. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave on high for about a minute, and then we'll check it, stir it, and see how we're doing. Okay, after about 30 seconds, I took it out and stirred it and then put it in for the last 30 seconds. So our cream cheese is definitely super soft and our Swiss cheese has started to melt just a little bit. Now, I forgot to show this in the beginning, but you need three fourths a cup of milk. I'm going to add that in and use a whisk and stir it around until it's mostly smooth. There may still be some lumps in there. Now we're gonna take our biscuit dough and just add that in. So this was a can of eight biscuits and I separated them into sixths. Okay, let's coat these really well. I've got two cups of chicken. I just used a rotisserie chicken. It's chopped up pretty small. And I've got one cup of diced ham. One last thing that the recipe does not call for, but I don't know. I know the cream cheese has flavoring already, but I just wanna add a little more something. So we're going to add in the anti no nos everything seasoning. I'm running low. Shocker. We use it every single day. Okay. Now let's go over to our baking dish. You know what? It was just easier to bring the baking dish over here. So I've already sprayed this with nonstick spray. You need a nine by 13. This is not quite a nine by 13, but it's close enough. And let's just put our mixture directly in here. Now we'll just top it with our remaining one cup of Swiss cheese. And that's it, y'all. This is going in the oven at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes or until it is a deep golden brown and the biscuits are baked through. And then we'll top it with some green onions at the end. This smells so good. I have a good feeling about this one. just me still I'm hoping Steven will be home soon I just texted him he should be home soon 
but I'm gonna give this a try. It smells so good. I was worried about the biscuits being like too doughy. They're perfect. Steven's home. He's pulling in right now. While I wait on him to come in really quickly. Y'all, this is good. It's got great flavor. I love the chicken and the ham. The biscuits are perfect. It's cheesy. Highly recommend. So when Steven came home, he was with a friend and the friend came in and I was not expecting that. I was very happy to have food to offer for both of them, but I didn't wanna get the camera out while his friend was here. So we've eaten, his friend has left. What do you have to say about it? Well, I'm surprised. Yeah, he didn't know. I'm surprised because yeah, I had no idea, number one. Um, and then I found out that there was a sneaky little ingredient in there <laughs> that actually didn't taste like it, but it was cream cheese. Yeah. And I have to admit, I thought it tasted more like a like a ranch mixture mm -hmm. or like sour cream and something like like sour cream and onion, something like that. Yeah. Um, so the cream cheese definitely threw me off. And but I have to admit, it was very tasty. He liked it. It didn't have didn't have the overwhelming you know cream cheese uh, flavor that normally happens when you you know when you use too right. much cream cheese. So right. I thought it was just the right amount and a very comfort food. Yeah, um, would be uh, which is great for the. It was hot too. That was the other thing. It was uh, they it was had filling. been out, yeah they had been hot. outside. It's yeah. like in the fifties and a very overcast and um, and windy today. Yeah. So they were they'd been outside for over an hour. So when they got here and I had a warm meal for them. Yeah. Did you use the leftover ham or was that another ham? No, it was new okay. ham. Yeah. yeah, I thought the, lamb, the ham was a, a great uh, addition to that. A great yeah. addition, you know, protein for that. That was great. Okay. Good job. Awesome. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> okay, for our second recipe, we had dinner. Now it's time for dessert. I'm going to be making skillet apple pie biscuits. I've got some Tillamook vanilla ice cream to serve with this is going to be perfect. Okay, the first thing I need to do is melt an entire stick of butter. We already know it's going to be good if it's got a whole stick of butter, right? <laughs> and while I have that melting, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 375. Okay, in this bowl here, I'm going to add in a half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're just going to mix all of that together. Okay, so I've got a 10 inch cast iron skillet here. I've got my half a cup of butter. I'm just going to take this little pastry brush, I guess is what this is, basting brush, that's what that is, and just coat the bottom and the sides of our skillet with some butter. Not all of the butter, obviously, but just get a good coating all around so we don't have anything stick. Now I've got this thing of biscuits. I'm gonna open this up. Now I'm gonna take each biscuit and dip it in the butter. And then sprinkle the cinnamon sugar all around and place it in the skillet. I'm going to do that with all eight biscuits. Okay, now we've got a 20 ounce can of apple pie filling. I'm going to dump it here into this bowl and we're going to chop up the pieces to be a little bit smaller. Now we're going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract directly here into the apple pie filling. I'm just going to mix that around. Okay, and let's just top our biscuits with all of this yummy goodness. Now whatever remaining butter you have, just pour that over top. And the remaining cinnamon sugar, we're just going to sprinkle that over top. Okay, this is going in the oven at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden and puffy. Okay, at this point you could definitely make a glaze to go on top. Remember, anything that I ever share, I've got the recipe in the description box below. So if you wanna do that, great. But we are serving it with vanilla ice cream. So I don't think we need the glaze. I think there's enough sweet stuff on top of there and here.
one of my favorite desserts is always, it seems, a hot dessert like this, I guess you could call it like a pie almost, yeah. um, with vanilla ice cream. Yep. It's just one of my favorite things. So I am really excited about this and let's just jump in. Was that a song? Mm. <laughs> yes, my taste buds are singing right now for sure. <laughs> that is delicious. Oh. Wow, really good. Love the cinnamon apple. Yeah. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. And right. Perfect crust. Good. I mean. It's not like doughy, it's No, cooked. it's not doughy, okay. it's cooked, it's flaky. Okay, good. Um, and then the, and then the ice cream. Of yeah, just... and we, we went I mean, you go big or you go home. We went with Tillamook ice cream. We have really, really fallen in love with mm. the Tillamook brand. So, all right, that's an easy one, y'all. Crowd pleaser mm. for sure. I just wanted to show y'all the bottom. It definitely is like a crust. Mm -hmm. It is perfection. Yep. There's a little bit of crunch there, mm -hmm. but the biscuit is not doughy. It's done completely. Mm -hmm. So it's got, you've got like the soft part and then you've got the crust, that crunch. Whoa. That's good. Mm -hmm. For our next canned biscuit recipe, I'm making a lunch. It's so easy to make. I'm gonna throw it in the oven. It's Sunday, we just got home from church. This is perfect. This is a meatball sub bubble up bake. Okay, we need one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Okay, now that we've shredded our cheese, we need to cut our jumbo biscuits into eight pieces each. Interesting. Got my pizza cutter for that. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. I normally like beat it on the side of the countertop, but that works. So then each of these in half and each of those in half. Yes, okay. Interesting. I have to think about it. It's like a little pizza. Yeah, it is like a little pizza. Okay, so you could put all of this in a bowl with one and a half cups of some type of marinara sauce, or you can just mix it up in your baking dish so you don't have to dirty up more stuff, you know? So we're gonna add all of our meatball, or these are not meatballs, all of our biscuits here and pour our sauce on top. I'm just gonna eyeball this. It says one and a half to two cups. So let's just pour this on there and mix it around. Now the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm just gonna add a few more seasonings in. I'm gonna add some oregano and it needs no introduction. So I chose to buy the mini meatballs. You could definitely just get regular size, but we're just gonna pour these right on top. And these are still frozen. I'm not gonna use the whole bag. I'm just gonna place these around. Let's just top it with our cheese. We're gonna cover it lightly with foil and put it in the oven at 375 for 40 minutes. And then that after that 40 minute timer goes off, we'll take the foil off and let it cook for 10 more minutes. Spray your aluminum foil first. Okay, this goes back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Biscuit crust That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cole took one bite and made a really funny face. I couldn't read his face. I was like, what? These ideas with the biscuits. Yeah. We like. These are some home runs. I'm so excited. I love this. The 
marinara sauce with that biscuit. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of crust on the bottom, mm -hmm. so a little bit of crunchiness there. Yeah. Texture of the meatball, the marinara sauce. What are you talking about? <laughs> Cole is very happy. Okay, well, there you go. Another very easy canned biscuit recipe that is definitely a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, it is time for our fourth canned biscuit dough recipe. Today I am making our lunch, but this would be great for breakfast and you'll see why. But I'm gonna change up the recipe that I found just a little bit. It is called glazed breakfast biscuit bombs, but I'm just gonna call them bacon, egg and cheese biscuit bombs. I had a package of bacon already open and there were four slices left. I have another package of bacon, but I also had some diced ham still left over from the chicken cordon bleu bubble up bake that we made. So I'm gonna do half of them with bacon and half of them with ham. I am going to set our oven to 375. Okay, I've got six eggs in here. I'm just gonna scramble these really quickly. It's not gonna take long. And then we will go assemble our biscuit bombs. Okay, we're gonna add just a little bit of seasoning to our eggs. We're gonna use the Auntie No Nose Everything Seasoning. Okay, our bacon has cooled. I'm just gonna chop it up into smaller pieces. Now I'm gonna grab some of our ham. I also shredded about a cup of cheddar cheese. And just so y'all are aware, because I will get questions. She has gotten her cheese. So I went this morning to a different grocery store. They were fully stocked on biscuits. So I don't know why my local food lion cannot keep them in stock, but Ingles came through for the win. So now it's time to assemble everything. I'm going to flatten each biscuit out to about a quarter inch thick and load it up with bacon or ham, egg and cheese, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just pull the sides up. And this may take a few times for me to master this. And we're gonna place it seam side down into this cake pan, and I've already sprayed it with nonstick spray. So that's gonna go in seam side down. They are all assembled and you think, oh, that's it, right? They're going in the oven. No. Remember when I was telling you about them, I called them the official name, which is glazed. We're gonna put a glaze on them. I'm gonna melt half a stick of butter. Okay, to my melted butter, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of the dub sauce, and one and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Now the recipe calls for poppy seeds as well, and I have those, but poppy seeds just are not my favorite. So I'm gonna leave that off. Okay, so the recipe said to do this in a saucepan over the stove, but I just did it in the microwave. I did throw it back in the microwave just to really make sure everything was combined well. And now I'm just gonna pour this over the biscuits. And these are going in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the biscuits are golden and cooked through. A little note about the recipe, you probably only need about four eggs. I have leftovers and you don't need quite a cup of the cheese either. It's really hard to stuff them super full, so just keep that in mind. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I mean, you just can't go wrong when you got ham and cheese and bacon just packed into a biscuit. And eggs. And eggs? And eggs. Oh! Mm. Man, that's good. Yeah, it is good. That glaze on top. Mm. Wait, wait. What? That reminds me of the sliders. Yes. Place. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. It's almost the exact same thing yeah. on top. Very good, Cole. Yeah, very good. You like? I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely different. When it comes to a biscuit like this, I'm all about. I want that meat taste, mm -hmm. right? meat flavor, and but then, as you pointed out, the glaze crust or whatever, that's special. So good job. All right. Well, this will be great for breakfast. We're having it for lunch today. I only got one, but I think I'm gonna go back and get another one. So Cole mentioned that these would be great. We could, the leftovers that we have, we could just freeze those and then warm them up as we need them. So I thought that was a good point. 
Mr. Man who does not want to be on camera no. right now. <laughs> there you have it. Four very different recipes using canned biscuit dough. If you have a recipe you'd like to share, leave that in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Okay, so when... No, no, you, you said you were going to say something first. I just did. No, you did Something. Mwahaha. <laughs> It's time for me to help. Why are you recording me? Because you, because I want to. Because <laughs> I know if I had the camera up here, you'll look at me and I'll get to see your face.